Welcome to today's broadcast. Kaka continues his powerful series titled Barrenness. Today, he speaks about fanatism and how it causes barrenness. Let's join in. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 2 is our key scripture. I've been sharing on the word barrenness. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 2. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Three, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is the world through lust. Eight, if these things be underbound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Verse 8 of the key scripture, the Bible tells us that as Christians, we should not be barren. You can be a Christian and be barren. There is no sign that you are profiting from serving the Lord. No sign. That's barrenness. So Peter said, these things must be in you. In other words, there are certain things that must be in you so that you become fruitful. So we started looking at the things that must be in you. Today, I want to focus on verse 5. It said, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge temperance, temperance patience. We'll stop there because we'll not go even that far. So let's look at the things that Peter said you must add. You know, anything that is in its raw state, the value is very low. If you take cocoa, the people who make chocolate by adding milk, sugar, whatever, fats, when they send the chocolate back to us for us to buy, it is more expensive than even the cocoa that we sold in the first place. So you can have something in its raw state, but if you don't improve it, its value is still very low. So you can be a Christian who is born again. You know the Lord. But you must know that being born again is the first step. If you don't add certain things to your life as a born-again Christian, your value will be very low because you have failed to add anything. That's why Peter said, add to your faith. So today I want us to look at that verse, verse 5, and I want us to say a few things about it. Number one, Peter said, you need a combination of things to be fruitful. That's why it says, add to your faith. And then he mentions many things. In my experience as a pastor, I will tell you one thing which I think makes Christians unfruitful. I believe that there are many Christians who are fanatics. When you say somebody is a fanatic, what it means is that he concentrates on only one area of life. That's all. So, for example, there are people who think that prayer is everything. Prayer is good. So, if they have a financial problem, prayer. They have a problem at the office, prayer. They have a marital problem, prayer. They must learn, prayer. Prayer is good. It has its place. But prayer standing alone on its own, let me tell you, you'll be barren. To me, this is one of the things that has harmed Christians. Fanatism. And over-concentration on one thing. Even when you look at the miracles of Jesus, one thing you find out is that even within the miracles, it was not prayer alone. 
it was a combination of things. It's always it's a combination of things plus prayer. So what I want to say is that if we reduce life to just one or two spiritual things, you will be buried. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that to be fruitful as Christians, we must be practical and not fanatical. Join us again tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Divine Intervention Dear Kakra, on the day I delivered my twins, I heard an audible voice repeatedly saying, Death, death, death. I called my father-in-law, who is a pastor, to pray with me. The next day, a doctor I didn't know appeared at my door around 4 a.m., saying she felt compelled to check on me. She found me confused with the high blood pressure on the brink of experiencing postpartum eclampsia. She quickly called for help and administered the necessary medications. I thank God for being gracious and merciful to me. God bless you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counselling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 790 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.